हेलो एवरी वन नमस्ते वेलकम टू द टॉपिक ऑफ स्पेशल एंटीना दट इज स्मार्ट एंटीना लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन स्मार्ट एंटीना यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन टाइप्स ऑफ स्मार्ट पिक्चर ओके वॉट इज स्मार्ट एंटीना एट ऑल इन द टाइप्स ऑफ एंटीना आई टॉक अबाउट स्मार्ट एंटीना वॉट इट इज so what is smart antenna let us see what it is smart antenna also known as adaptive array antennas so the as the name indicates adaptive and array means the antenna uh, elements put together is an array is forms an antenna array adaptive is uh, adjusting the pattern uh, of the array so its name is adaptive array antenna so smart antenna also known as adaptive and array antennas the this concept of adaptive array antenna will be much clear when i explain you the working and with the examples and digital antenna array is also the name for smart antenna also there are the names as multiple antennas and it is also recently called as mimo multiple input multiple output antenna arrays with smart signal processing algorithms are used to identify the spatial signal signatures which is direction of arrival signal so the arrays are used with signal processing algorithms for detection of direction of arrival of signal so these are used to calculate beam forming vectors which are used to track and locate the antenna beam on the mobile or tablet smart antennas are different than reconfigurable antennas most of the times it happens that reconfigurable antennas are con uh, confused with smart antennas but they are different from smart antenna because the both of them have similar capabilities but the single element antennas are called as reconfigurable antennas and not the antenna arrays so when it comes to antenna arrays it's a smart antenna when it comes to simple element then or a single element antenna then it goes it comes to the reconfigurable antennas what is the objective of the smart antenna the objective is to maximize the gain in the desired direction and another objective is to minimize the gain in the direction of interference so in the direction of interference we are going to nullify or we want the null or we want the minimum uh, radiation whereas in the direction of maximum uh, gain where uh, in the direction where the actual target is there in that direction i want the maximum gain so here smart antenna when i say as i'm saying we want the maximum gain in the desired direction if this is the desired user so in this direction we want maximum gain whereas in interfering in interfering user we want null in that case so that is what is the requirement or the objective working of smart antenna technical aspects involve number of elements fed with the signals which are adaptively processed so there are number of elements that means the antenna array those are fed with the signals which are adaptively processed which are processed adaptively one after the other in space and with the space time filtering what are the types of smart smart antennas so there are basically two types of uh, smart antennas adaptive array antenna and switched beam array antenna let us see first the adaptive array antenna it is the core system component in mobile networks adaptive array antenna is a core system component in mobile networks adaptive array as the name is there adaptive it allows the antenna to steer the beam to any direction of interest while simultaneously nulling the interfering signal so adopting in the sense what it is allowing or steering the beam in the direction of interest and nullifying the or nulling the beam in the direction of interfering signals this adaptive antenna array can track and locate the signals here the diagrammatically it is shown where you can see these are the antennas and this is the 
uh, these are the weightages provided to it all summed together there is the adoptive algorithm is there the output of this is a beam forming signal this beam forming signal given here and whatever desired signal is given here the error signal when fed to adoptive algorithm the adoptive algorithm will adopt in such a way that it provides the maximum gain in the desired direction and null in the interfering direction this is what is the adoptive array antenna system so it can locate and track the user signals that is users as well as interferences it can customize an appropriate radiation pattern for each individual user so for each user it can create or customize the radiation pattern now let us see the difference between what is the con difference between the conventional array and beam forming array see if this is uh, the radiation pattern of uh, one antenna this is radiation pattern of the other antenna likewise these are the individual radiation patterns so if i see all the antennas radiation pattern this is a complete one it is the case of conventional array but if i say this is of the beam forming array so the beam forming array is making the uh, radiation to increase or the more is the gain in a desired direction where the main beam is where the target is in that case you can see the main beam you can see the uh, larger lobe you can see the higher gain whereas in the other directions you can see the side lobes which have very less gain so this is the difference between the conventional array and beam forming array in terms of radiation another uh, uh, type of the antenna which is a switched beam array antenna as the name itself indicates switched beam that means the radiation beam is getting switched so switched beam array antenna have several fixed beam patterns and only the decision need to be made which beam is to be accessed at a given point of time the aim of the switched beam system is increasing the gain according to the location of the user so based on the location of the user increase the gain of that particular beam let me show you diagrammatically so these are the multiple beams that you can see but only active beam is this one this is for these beams are formed due to antenna array and this is the where here if user is there this beam is active at a particular point of time so multiple fixed beams with one beam turned on towards the desired signal that is the switched beam antenna or switched beam array or i or can also say single beam is steered to the desired signal single beam is getting steered to the desired signal comparison between switched and the adoptive array antenna if i see you can see here switched beam array antenna will be giving the maximum gain for the desired user for interfering users or for interference it is uh, there are the minor loops but in case of adoptive scheme you can see the for the desired user the maximum gain is there but at the same time for interfering users there is a null so that is what is the adoptive scheme so it's adopting in that way so this is the difference between the uh, switched antenna and uh adoptive array antenna you can see here based on the criteria i can differentiate between switched beam and adoptive array so here on based on the integration switched beam is easy to implement it and it has a low cost whereas adoptive antenna array system the trans receiver complexity is there so that the cost is high and hard less hardware redundancy is there in adoptive arrays based on range and coverage if i compare switched beam has more coverage compared to conventional system and less coverage compared to adoptive array whereas adoptive arrays more coverage is there compared to switched beam system if i talk in, ter in terms of interference rejection there is a difficulty in a switched beam in distinguishing between desired signal and interfere uh, interferer and doesn't react to the moment of interference whereas in adoptive array as you seen in the lobe also focusing is narrower 
and it is capable of nulling the interfering signals as i have shown in the previous slide here it is capable of nullifying the or nulling the applications are uh, the different applications are mobile communications cellular and wireless networks satellite communications wireless sensor network military application and electronic warfare these are the different applications of smart antenna these are the references used for preparing this video thank you